Well, good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Monday, it's the 4th of April, and as you can see, still here in Kent, sat and just had a cup of coffee, and on a cup, first cup of tea today, and um, just uh, getting my head round uh, today. Been praying and just spending some time reading the Bible and looking at today's devotion, which is in, comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, and we're looking at verse 11. This is a continuation of, of the uh, same theme, the same thoughts really, which was in verse 10, um, which continues in this today. So I'm going to read 10 and 11 together, so you just get the, 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 the context of those things. It's always important, just to bear in mind to say this, obviously today, when I'm doing these devotions, I'm taking one verse, and it's it's important as we remember when we look at the word of god that we don't just take one verse and take it out of context we need to take it in context with how it was written uh, because the verse they weren't written as verses they were put in later for to to help us to, to help us split up and uh, <clears throat> when you're looking at the word of god these always th these few things you need to bear in mind um who who's written it who it was who it was originally intended for the purpose of them, the time, the culture, all those kind of things. And what can we learn from this today? What's God speaking to us through this today? That we need to always do it through those kind of lenses rather than just so. So that's so important for us. Some things are timeless, like this here today is timeless. Well, this is this is totally truth 2,000 years ago and today, um, which of course the Bible is anyway. Um, uh, this says this, verse 10. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Praise God. Use them well to serve one another. Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak as though God himself was speaking through you. Do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. All glory and power to him forever and ever. Amen. So, if you look at this initially, it says, do you have the gift of speaking? Uh, well, we all have the gift of speaking because, you know, um, because we can, we use words. But this is talking about the gift of speaking, I guess, preaching, I guess, or speaking to others. Um, then speak as though God himself was speaking through you. So this, this is not, this is not arrogant. Um, this is, but this is actually, this is all doing this on the basis that God is helping us, God is strength. You know, when you become a Christian, you um, receive uh, the, the Holy Spirit, and we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we're filled with the Holy Spirit with power. And the Bible says about this, it talks about this as being a deposit, deposit of what God is, you know, we're not left as orphans on our own. We're not called to do this walk on our own. No, I'm not called to be a better version than me through me being, you know, the, the new improved Mike, you know, the new the new improved Mike is better. No, the Bible says that we're new creations, we are changed. And to prove that, God has given us the Holy Spirit. He's put a deposit in us, guaranteeing what he has started, he will finish it. And one day when we see him, we'll be like him, we'll have new bodies, and we will be made perfect. So we do this all, this is all through the strength of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is, is the person, as I say, the agency. No, it's not an agency. The Holy Spirit is a person. There's Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There are three persons in one. He is the person uh, because God is all powerful uh, and can be everywhere, all, all, you know, all knowing and can be omnipresent everywhere, all at the same time, which is amazing. The Holy Spirit is within us to help us, to strengthen us, to live this life. So if God has given you the gift of speaking, preaching, then use it. For, use it as if God is speaking through you. So that means speak God. You know, it tells us as well in, in, in um, I think, the, the disciples, it said, look, when you stand before people, God will give you the words to say. So we just need to be empty of ourselves of ourselves and ask the Holy Spirit would fill us and would give us the words to say. I found this at times when I'm thinking, like, sometimes it's just, the problem with me is because I just, because I've, I've usually got plenty to say for myself, preachers often do, we open our mouth without really thinking. And sometimes it's important just to say, Lord, what do you want to say here? What do you want to say? So sometimes to be uh, slow to speak, but, uh, but but listen to what the Holy Spirit is saying, what the Holy Spirit is doing. 
Do you have the gift of speaking? Then speak. And it might not be preaching. It might just be in speaking with others. It's about sharing the good news. It might be of, of just just revealing, of encouraging one another. That is, that is speaking to one, to others. To have that encouragement. You know, Karen is an encourager. She encourages people. That's a powerful, powerful gift. Because in this day and age, you see so many people who are discouraged because they look at circumstances. They look at difficult things. If you are an encourager, hey, get out there and encourage. Do you have the gift of helping others? Then help others. Uh, as we speak at this moment, Matt Redding from our church is out in uh, Poland. He's helping others. He's helping those who are uh, being displaced because of the war in Ukraine. He's out there helping others. What a fantastic thing that he's able to go and do that and have the, the courage and all that kind of thing. He's doing that with all the strength and energy that God supplies to do, to do that. Don't just do things half-hearted. Don't just do things because, you know, people are watching. Do things with all the strength and energy that God supplies. And God will, you know, because nothing is impossible with God. This is the thing we need to, to think about. You know, sometimes we just don't believe God. But all things are possible through God. And he will give us the power and the energy. And it says, then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. So that's what we're trying to do. Is everything that we do is to bring glory to Him, to point to, to to point to Him, to point others to Jesus, to point others to God, to give glory to Him, all power and glory to Him forever and ever. Because God is up on the throne. This is what my friend um, Stan tells me. He reminds me, and he said, you know, he said when difficult situations happen, Jesus says this. He said, well, Mike, remember that God is still on the throne, and it's absolutely true. All power and all glory belongs to him forever and ever. And I praise God for that. And to be reminded of that is a great thing. So use your words carefully. Do it if you have the gift of helping others. Do it with all the strength that you have. And if you can do something today, why don't you do that today? Speak words of encouragement. Why don't you help others? And so bring power and bring glory and honour to God today on Monday the 4th of April. Listen, take care. God bless. I'll see you again tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen.